I've been a horseman my entire life, but what makes me different than the typical horse man is I've lived with multiple sclerosis since I was 15 years old. So the time came when I had to get out of the saddle and I turned to driving and I discovered the United States driving for the disabled. For years I was uh, running a uh, commercial uh, business, a commercial company, and we were quite su successful. So um, every day, the whole day, we were focused on, uh, on our business. And then there comes a moment in your life that, that it's still important that, 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 that you go for your goals, yeah? and um, that, that you are focused uh, on that. But there's also uh, the other side of life, right? Access Adventure is a program that I founded when I retired as President of United States Driving for the Disabled, which was headquartered in Kentucky. I returned to California, where I was born, and I wanted to start a regional program, a model of services to people with disabilities, using our horses as a bridge to nature. Some of us you know, live in a body that's broken, like me. I have multiple sclerosis. Or it might be a spinal cord injury. Or it might be a roadside bomb in Afghanistan that changes your life in an instant. Some of us live with a head that's broken, whether it's a traumatic brain injury or cerebral palsy or post-traumatic stress disorder. We still have the capacity, no matter what challenges we live with, we have the capacity to live and to love fully. And our love for horses is our connection and our bridge that compensates for our lost function. Since I, uh, I was young, I've had a big passion, of course, for horses. I've done a lot of things, different things with uh, horses. I'm also part of this modern world, of course, this fast uh, world uh, with my family. And uh, I thought, well, um, I've never done this uh, before. Two and a half thousand miles, that's a long trip, uh, means a lot of uh, preparation. But to do it this way is uh, probably a good way to um, teach others and my own family too, um, how we can improve uh, things in life, improve re relations with others, improve communication uh, with others, and how to deal with our planet, our world. Well, the caravan comes about when I met Gerard. He's an amazing person who's done a lot with his horses all over the world, but one thing that's missing on his bucket list is long distance journeying. And he knows that I've done it, and I've done it three times. And he recruited me, he said, are you up for another one? And I thought about it and I said, yeah, I am. He is um, uh, doing and planning the, the route, the route. Uh, we will go through the deep south of the United States, close to the Mexican uh, border. Michael is doing that. I'm organizing all the logistics uh, for this uh, trip. We're going to begin in Murrieta, California at Frisian Focus Farm, which is very near the Mission San Diego where my ancestors arrived in 1849. And we'll immediately pick up the trail that the 49ers did, the old Butterfield Trail, the old Southern Overland Trail. And we'll backtrack along that to Yuma, Arizona, down the uh, San Pedro River Valley, over the Chiricahua Mountains into New Mexico, on our way to El Paso. And at El Paso, we'll continue on a direct route toward Florida that will take us through the deep south along the Gulf Coast, right along the, uh, the water of the Gulf of Mexico, into Florida, where we'll end at Weirsdale at the Grand Oaks Resort of Gloria Austin and her carriage museum. And uh, the scenery will be uh, beautiful, of course. We don't know what to expect. We can also expect uh, get some uh, bad weather, of course. It's um, all in the game and we will be prepared uh, for that and we uh, are really looking forward to, to all the challenges and how to deal with those. And um, if there are uh, difficulties, we will uh, solve those for sure. Experiencing the United States at this pace is a remarkable way to see the world, number one. And personally, I'm on a mission. I'll drive a wheelchair accessible vehicle to demonstrate 
to the world what's possible for people that live with challenges like I do. And I want to meet people along the way and share this experience in their wheelchair. They can come aboard my wheelchair accessible wagon and come with us for an afternoon or a day or a weekend or a week and uh, share this experience with me. It's so nice because uh, so far we have a group um, of about 50 to 60 people who have signed up and different people. There are some people who are uh, retired and uh, who, who told me we have been dreaming about this uh, for years and years and years. We have some, quite some nice young people and that's uh, great too of course. So the group will be very mixed. We will um, uh, have people who will bring their own horses or mules, small ponies, bigger horses. Uh, there are people who will ride their horses. There are people who will drive their horses. Of course we will have some unique uh, conversations and that's also one of the goals of uh, the caravan. Um, it's, it's working together, dealing with the challenges uh, together, making the meals uh, together. So it's, a, it's an important social event uh, too, of course. And uh, through the caravan, we hope that um, uh, all the participants uh, will grow, but also the people around us and all those little towns and villages on the way from California to Florida. A lot of times when you live with challenges, it's, you, you can be consumed and brought down by the by the, by the struggles that you live with. As, and it's important to focus on what you can do, not on what you cannot do. That's the overarching message for me, is there's always a way around it. When I couldn't ride anymore, I turned to driving. I didn't lament the fact that I had to hang up my saddle. And now I've taken that dusty saddle off the shelf because one of our physical therapists has gotten me back in the saddle again. So part of the journey for me, I'm gonna ride and drive. And my goal is to try to make the American Equestrian Team to the Paralympics in 2016 in Rio de Janeiro. Nature is healing. You know, my great-grandfather said that. Everyone needs beauty as well as bread, that nature heals body and soul. And for those of us who can't get out in nature, that's where the horse comes in. That's the bridge for those of us who can't walk, uh, who struggle in whatever way that we struggle with the challenges that we're living with. The horse, the amazing horse and their strength is what carries us out into the into the world and helps us experience the healing power of nature. You're more than welcome to join. Send us an email and you will be in.